I wanted to cover the database offerings from Azure for MySQL. So they have something called the flexible server, and they also have something called the single server. So this, when I was getting started, it was a little bit confusing me. So I was uh, wondering what the difference is. If you go to read the documentation here, it says the Azure database for MySQL flexible server is a fully managed production ready database server designed for more granular control and flexibility over database management functions and configuration settings. So basically that tells me nothing so far. <laughs> uh, but the second sentence is actually a lot more useful. The flexible server architecture allows users to opt in for high availability within a single availability zone and across multiple availability zones. So that's the key difference. Basically, the flexible server offers HA, high availability. So you essentially have a failover, you have a standby, okay? The single server, it's only a single server. So you don't have uh, HA, you don't have availability. And I ran to this using the portal. You kind of do this and you click on create. And then once you click on create, it gives you two options. And then you read it and you're like, okay, so what is the difference here? And the way this is kind of stated, it almost sounds like if you're coming from AWS, uh, RDS Aurora, which is the serverless database offering from AWS, but the flexible server is not like a serverless offering. It's more like comparable to the RDS multi-AZ. Essentially, it's a standby failover, okay, in a different AZ or the same AZ, I guess. And um, there is, you might run to this also, a database serverless compute offering from Azure. Uh, but this applies to Microsoft SQL Server, not MySQL Server, which is what I'm kind of talking about in this video here. But yeah, that is pretty much the difference between these two offerings. The flexible server is going to give you basically uh, HA. And here's the interesting thing. The flexible server, you don't have to use HA. You could actually just use a single, a single server here too. And actually the pricing is actually uh, less expensive here. So especially uh, the, the smaller basically database nodes. So I'm guessing that uh, Azure started off with a single server product and then they uh, improved it into the flexible server offering here. So uh, the flexible server is kind of what you want for production workloads and probably even what you want for development workloads unless there's a reason to use a single server here that I don't know about. But that's the key difference between these two database offerings for MySQL from Azure. Okay, thanks.